now that we know how to play a simple but solid beat, let's add some more parts to it. We'll be playing what is called a backbeat or 4 to the floor, an extremely popular type of groove that is featured in countless songs. Let's use the song Another One Bites the Dust by Queen to demonstrate. We are using one hand to play the kick and snare, as seen in the previous video. You can use either your left or right hand for this, depending on which one feels the most natural to you. As a reminder, the kick is on the beats 1, 2, 3 and 4, The snare is only on 2 and 4. Let's warm up and synchronize our hands. Once the beat is established, we add some closed hi-hats with our second hand on every beat, just like the kick. Once we're comfortable with this, we can now go further and play two hi-hats for every beat. If you're having trouble doing this, one method is to lower the tempo and count out loud 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. The 1, 2, 3, 4 are called downbeats. The AND are in between the main beats and are called upbeats. You can actually replace AND by any word or sound you feel comfortable with. This is only a guideline to know where we are in time. If you're beginning with a drum pad or playing rhythm, this may prove to be challenging. You can actually go back to the original beat and occasionally add a few hi-hats. In time, it will get easier to connect everything and play all of the notes. Now that we can keep a steady pace of notes, it becomes fairly easy to add some variations. For instance, by occasionally playing an open hi-hat instead of a closed hi-hat. In the next video, we'll keep going further and learn more advanced variations.